All new, Roseanne Barr is blaming Ambien for the racist tweet that led to ABC canceling the revival of her hit show. Meanwhile, the president didn't address the controversy at a rally in Nashville. Instead, he took jabs at Hillary Clinton and Jay-Z. Take a listen. The only way she filled up the arena was to get Jay-Z. And his language was so filthy that it made me like the most clean-cut human being on earth. We'll have more on this story on the ABC Columbia mobile app. Plus, back at home, a tragedy in Chesterfield County. A mother who reported that her child was abducted could possibly be facing charges and the 11-month-old's death after the baby was found in a diaper box. And Memorial Day marked the unofficial start of summer, and with that, you'll likely be headed to the beach or pool more often. So in today's Health Minute, learn how to protect your children around water. Hello, and thank you for joining me. From Maine and Gervais, I'm Kimberly Davis. I hope that you're well this Wednesday. Happy birthday. If you're celebrating today, you share the day with Supernatural actor Mark Shepard. Those trending headlines, celebrity birthdays, and your moment in history with Denmark Vesey are all up next today, May 30th. Roseanne Barr has been tweeting all through the night, sending out more than 100 posts, including retweets. Barr is defending herself after being fired from one of the most popular shows on TV for a racist tweet about former Obama aide Valerie Jarrett calling her an ape. ABC's Stephanie Ramos reports from Washington. The revival of the hit show Roseanne was canceled just hours after the show's star Roseanne Barr tweeted this. Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes had a baby, equals VJ. The VJ she's referring to is Valerie Jarrett, a former advisor to President Obama. By Tuesday morning, Barr's tweet had been deleted and replaced with an apology, saying in part, forgive me, my joke was in bad taste. Roseanne's tweet outraged fans, but also her own castmates, Sarah Gilbert, also an executive producer of the show, calling the comments abhorrent and do not reflect the beliefs of our cast and crew or anyone associated with our show. Uh, Meanwhile, the, the subject today, of the tweet, the Valerie tweet Jarrett, responded on MSNBC. Well, all, Bob Iger, who's a CEO of Disney, called me uh, before the announcement. He apologized. He said that he had zero tolerance for that sort of racist, bigoted comment, and he wanted me to know before he made it public that he was canceling his show. And so I appreciate that they did that so quickly. Barr was back on Twitter late Tuesday with another apology, posting, don't feel sorry for me, guys. I just want to apologize to the hundreds of people and wonderful writers, all liberal and talented actors who lost their jobs on my show due to my stupid tweet. Barr even calling her own words indefensible, posting, Guys, I did something unforgivable, so do not defend me. It was 2 in the morning and I was ambient tweeting. It was Memorial Day 2. I went too far and do not want it defended. Welcome back. If you have our mobile app, we alerted you to this story out of Chesterfield County about the death of an 11 month old at the center of a canceled Amber Alert. We're still waiting on an autopsy report, but here's what we know. According to the Chesterfield County Sheriff's Office, Harley Lewis was found dead Tuesday afternoon inside a diaper box about 1,000 yards from her home. Her body was found only a few hours after her mother claimed the child was snatched from her arms during an attack while checking her mailbox. Chesterfield County Sheriff Jay Brooks says he believes that this was all fabricated and there was never a kidnapping. She gave a story of an SUV that had uh, stopped, had hit her several times in the face, and then um, I picked up the baby, jumped in the truck, and, and took off. The baby's mother, 19-year-old Brianna Lewis, is charged with filing a false police report. Additional charges could be forthcoming. Two children die each day in the U.S. from drowning, but thankfully there are ways parents and loved ones can protect children around water. Holly Furfer has more in today's Health Minute. Temperatures are climbing around the country and many families are taking to the water for a little relief. But as you cool off, it's important to take precautions to reduce the risk of drowning, whether you're at the pool, lake or the ocean. The top priority is making sure children are properly supervised by an alert adult. Most drownings occur quickly and quietly with little or no yelling or splashing. 
The CDC suggests people learn CPR to help out in case of an emergency. And although it may seem obvious, adults and children should know how to swim. But even if your child is a strong swimmer, it's a good idea to use the buddy system. Experts recommend that weak swimmers use life jackets as well as all boaters, adults and children. If you have a backyard pool, it's important to install fencing and locks and consider a pool alarm or cover. If you have small children, remove toys after swimming to prevent them from jumping in to retrieve them when unsupervised. Swimming is great exercise and staying safe can make for a great day of fun in the sun. For today's Health Minute, I'm Holly Furfer. On this day in 1822, house slaves betrayed Denmark Vesey. As a result, over 30 blacks were hanged. Happy birthday. If you're celebrating today, you share the day with supernatural actor Mark Shepard. He's 54. Actor Ralph Carter of the throwback show Good Times is 57. And rapper Remy Ma is 38. Well, that's our time for today. You've been watching What's Trending. The news continues online at abccolumbia.com, on our mobile app, and on the news at 6 and 11. I'm Kimberly Davis. Be kind to each other. Have a wonderful Wednesday, and thanks for watching.